All right, so as of right now, we have the baby calf back at the house. And um, Mama has come back to the woods. Mom has no interest in being up close to the other cows because they're all being so mean to her. I don't know why they've always treated her differently. So sad. Previously recorded. And this is so sad because Mama's out here fighting for whatever. Yeah, please do. Oh, no. This is awful. So sad to me. But um, we have the calf. So the calf is going to be safe from predators through the night. I'm going to walk back out and get my rifle where I left it. And then um, I'll come back. Hopefully mom will have finished her food by then. And if I can get her to follow me back up, then I'll put her in a dry lot with the calf. If she doesn't go back up, then we're going to have to decide on where to go with baby. Surprise. We're back with another one of our interactive videos. Listen, you have to press pause on the video and answer a question. Now, there's no blueprint. There's no flow chart. If this happens, do this. If this happens, do this. Instead, you sometimes have to just go with your gut. As of right now, mama does not want to be up that hill. We took baby away from mom, took her to the dry lot, hoping that mom would join her. And as of right now, mom has no interest. So what do we do? Do we leave mom where she's at and stick a bottle in baby's mouth? Baby needs nutrition. Do we take baby back to mom, even though it'll be dark soon, and that means it could be a predator issue? What? What do we do? This is fun. It's time for you guys to press pause and go to the comments. Once you put your comment, press play and begin the video where you left off. And we'll do this a couple of times for the video. Guys, this is fun. This is the way you engage an audience. Let's just go with it. Just let's just go with it, okay? And if you don't do what I did, don't go change your comment. Don't, don't go delete it. That's no fun. That's no fair. It's okay. Let's have some fun with this, shall we? Come on. Well, morning, folks. Lester here. And, uh... I'm coming out early to open this gate for the Longhorns. We brought all of them up last night because of the baby. I did not want that baby in them woods and I could not get, I was not able to pin mom and calf. So what I did was I just called all the Longhorns up. And I have them in this paddock over here. Hey, sweetie. Hi there. I put them in this paddock over here, and they are not happy with me. Well, they do not like to be told. They don't like curfews, y'all. They don't like curfews. They don't, they don't like being closed in. They want to do what they want to do when they want to do it, and I am so sorry y'all had to do that. But my worry was if these guys went to the woods, then Mama and Calf would go to the woods as well. And we did not want that. Okay, you guys are all free to go. I'm sorry. Don't give me that attitude. You're free to go. You know what? You're free to go. And they are. They're free to go. Maybe if I get out of the way, they'll go. So uh, now they can go back to the woods. What I'm going to try to do when I see mom and baby come up is uh, contain them into the front and close this gate behind us. So I'll let all the longhorns, the larger, the older ones, come on out, come on through. Come on, now they're going to pout and suck. Now they're going to sit there and suck and pout. Is that not typical? I'm sorry. Y'all need to come this way. What I would like to do is move that mom and calf into this pasture here. That would be the best place for them for the next several days. Let's have a peek. Um, but uh, mom is keeping her distance. Mom and calf both are just keeping their distance. 
We've been really torn on what would be the best. Hi, Danny. Where's Ruby? Where's Ruby? Where's Ruby? Uh, well, there's Ruby. Hey, Rubes. Yeah, we've been real torn on what's the best move for that calf. I want to tell y'all something, and you're not going to understand this. This might be another part of Lester doing his humanizing thing. But let me walk a little bit closer. We're going to go down and look at Jezebel and her baby, her little calf. Look at how sweet. Hey, sweetie. That's Sadie, Big Bertha. And she is so sweet to lay here in the pasture, keeping an eye on that baby Longhorn and these goats. Tex is like saying, whose baby is that? I need to know. Cause that ain't my baby, that ain't my little munchkin. My munchkins ain't tiny like that. Nope, and his munchkins are not that tiny. <laughs> I'm hoping that Jezebel has calmed down some. Yesterday, she was not letting us get very close at all. And I'm not gonna inch up on her. I'm just gonna stop here and pour the feed over. That's as close as we're gonna get right there. Suck, 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 suck. Uh-oh. So even with feed, she wants nothing to do with us at all. I can't even get her to come to feed. But the problem is, look who is coming for feed. Oh my gosh, the ghosts can be so darn annoying. They can, they can be so darn annoying. So what I do not want her to do is go back to the woods. I'm gonna go around behind her right quick and close that gate that goes to the woods. The other cows have gone back already. I don't want her to go back. Give me a minute. I'm not feeding you guys yet. I don't feed till the afternoon. Okay, so my friends, we have a really huge dilemma. Let me get a little bit closer. we have a really huge dilemma. I cannot in good conscience let Jezebel back into the uh, woods to forage with that baby because of the threat of predators. You already know we've had coyote attacks. There's a cougar right down the road who've been seen and even caught a calf and so I cannot in good conscience allow them into the woods. Yet, there's no grass here on this front pasture. This is, there's no grass here. So my dilemma is do I pull that calf and bottle feed it for the calf's own safety and well-being? But in doing so, Jezebel's only friend, her only friend in the world is that calf her baby, her daughter. And how many of you moms can attest that you you never had a best friend as good as the one that you found in one of your daughters? Maybe more than one daughter. And so I don't want to separate that bond if I don't have to. You know, we bottle fed Danny and Ruby for several reasons. We had the drought, we had issues and you know you already know those issues but um, surprise me again <laughs> don't y'all just love this 
Okay, there's at this pause, you can actually go two ways with this. You could talk about your relationships with your daughters. If you're a mom and you have daughters or granddaughters and you have that kind of a bond where they truly are you're the only friend that you have in the world or the only friend that you need, they're your best friend, I would love to hear that story. And I know people who read the comments would love to see stuff like that. So that's our problem right now with Jezebel. She's a good mom. She's feeding the baby just fine. Baby's nursing. But there's nothing for Jezebel to eat there in the front property. Nothing. There's no grass. Do we dry lot her with baby so as they can stay together? Do we pull baby and allow Jezebel to go ahead and return back to the woods to keep her belly full, to keep her healthy? Dry lotting a cow is not as easy as dry lotting a horse. You don't want to break that bond. Let's hear your stories. Talk about your own relationships with your daughters or granddaughters, maybe even your sons. And talk about what we should do here. What should we do? Now, granted, it's already been done. I'm just curious if we feel the same, if we're on the same page. And if we're not, it's okay. Once you're done with your comment, just resume your video. Thank you for doing this. Pulling this calf over here from mom, I just think it's gonna be devastating to mom because that is truly mama's best friend. That's mama's only friend. And that breaks my heart to think I may have to do that. But I don't know what else to do. My only option is to run mom into our dry lot up here where we have a roll of hay, we have shelter, and there's no grass, and then just green hay, grain, and hay, dry hay the heck out of her to keep her nourished. And that might be the only option because I cannot let her into the woods. I can't, that would be foolish of me. That would be just darn foolish of me. Are y'all gonna be friends with that baby? Can y'all try to become friends with that baby? Because that baby needs friends. That baby's little. It's, it's She's tiny and she needs friends. She needs some friends, Danny. She does need friends. We have Sadie, who's gonna be her protector. We have Fiona on the other side of the fence over there. You see Fiona, who's also watching from a distance. Sadie's gonna be in here as the protector. <laughs> Danny and Ruby's gonna try to be her friend, but um, they have never seen a such a little munchkin before. They've never seen a munchkin. They've never seen a munchkin until now. <laughs> Danny's so happy she's not the baby anymore. She's just so darn happy not to be the baby in the family. Finally, there's someone tinier than she is, and it's a little munchkin. All right, so what I'm gonna do is walk over and catch the calf and I'm going to take the calf into the dry lot up here. Mom will follow. We will close them into the dry lot, and that's where we're going to keep them for the time being until we figure out what is the best course of action. And that way we can allow our other cows to come on back up when they're ready. We're not gonna have to deal with a predator threat in the, in the, in the near future, and that we can leave baby with mom. I think that's probably the best thing to do and so y'all bear with me, this is not gonna be easy because baby now is 24 hours old and, it, and that girl has found her legs, I promise you that. She's found her legs, y'all, she's found her legs. <sighs> Look out, little ones. Yeah, this little girl has found her legs and mama is not wanting me touching her. I'm just gonna have to get that baby and move her to a better place, okay? I do. I do want the best for you and that baby. I know how much you love her. I know how much you love her. I love her too. And we're doing this out of love. Hey, sweet thing, we got to give you a name. At some point, we got to give you a name. 
Don't stand up. Stay down for me. That'd be a lot easier to just stay down. Okay. That was easy. <clears throat> Here she comes. Let me get out of the way. Here comes Mama. Wrong side, Mama. Come this way. What I'm doing is walking out of the way. I'll go around the back side and try to move Mama around this way over here. And then I'll close the gate behind her. Sadie's trying to tell Mom how to get in there. We want mom to go in, not baby come out. We need mom in, not baby out. There we go. There we go, Lester. That's good, Lester Morrow. That's the Longhorn King right there. All right. Hoo-wee. Look out, Sadie. All right, Longhorn. Luster has done it. Yes. The Longhorn King. <laughs> okay, don't forget that Danny and Ruby can still get inside their pasture from the doggy door. The goats can still get out through the doggy door. Up here, we have a place for Jezebel and her calf to have a loafing shed. They have a roll of hay and I can bring them grains. They already have fresh water and we can keep mama in the best of health. We can do that right here in this pasture. Now, how long can we do this? I don't know. I will have to research that to see, but uh, I know that we can keep a horse in a dry lot for indefinitely. So I'm guessing it's the same for cows. I'll just have to read about exactly how much she needs. Oh, she's not happy with me. She's not happy with me, but she is safe. And sometimes they don't realize you're doing it for their, what do you think you're doing? You're like, hey, you have me locked out of my own pasture. Well, let me open the gate for y'all. Let me open the gate for my little, do not hit me there. Let me open the gate for my sweet girls, y'all. I need two hands for this. Maybe not. Maybe not, Lester. Come on, Longhorn King. Come on, little ones. Get all, come on in. Come on, little ones. Come on. Y'all, come inside here. Come on in here so I can close that gate. All right, now we're going to close this gate here. Danny, we're going to close this gate here. Oh, no, 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 no. You're staying in there. Y'all are staying in for a little bit to go love on that baby. Leave that cat alone. All right, let me close this gate and then uh, get my side-by-side -side where I left it. And then we will get some food into her belly and all will be fine. All right, I've put the goats over into this pasture. I will open up that gate so the goats can be with the ostriches. The cows, when they come up, the big cows can come into this gate over here and stay in this pasture where they stayed last night. I have the calves along with mama here in this larger of our pastures with the larger loafing shed of course sadie's here because she wants to be and then i just put some grain out i've also got some green hay going around and then one and of course we have a dry roll of hay so once oh lord here we go ruby's like who are you you don't even have a name yet guys we do not have a name yet and I'm gonna tell you about why we don't have a name yet in just a second. Let me pour the rest of this grain out here and I'll get to that part. I just wanna see what Ruby's gonna do here. <laughs> um, I wanna watch Ruby. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Yeah, something like that.